Sorry, gang. I ran out of uh, space on my other phone because that's why I record on on phone. So anyway, back to the story. So I thought my big son was going to get shot, and somebody was running across the park and and it got into the truck with my son. I didn't know what was going on, who it was, or anything. Anyway, couldn't call the cops because. Yeah. <laughs> A duty bug. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Ma. Ma. Anyway, so I couldn't call the cops because I didn't couldn't find my phone. I was too scared and worked up over the whole thing. Anyway, so what had happened is I'm standing there watching, and all of a sudden the police came. You could hear the police coming. We you know it's going woo 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 woo. The sirens and everything. So anyway. The police got out. They give no shits about anything. The guy dropped to the ground and put his hands behind his head like that. He knew what was coming, I guess. Is either he, he cooperates or the police. Like, the police here in Reno, Nevada. Don't play with them assholes because, well, they're not assholes. But don't play with them because they will kill you. They're scared. And if they think you're they're gonna you're gonna hurt them, they will kill you. No kidding. So they shot a they shot a kid a few years back because they thought the kid was gonna shoot one of them. So they shot a twelve year old four, twelve I don't know if it's twelve or thirteen year old middle school kid here. So yeah, don't play with Reno police. I'll tell you that or Sparks police. Anyway, so they hauled the dude off to jail, and now today. I did, son, and all the people that seen him, like a whole group of people, not just my big son, have to go watch a video and say, is this correct? Is this the person? You know, blah, blah, blah. So that's what he had to go do today, to go watch a video with many others. So it's not, it. so even if he didn't go, it don't matter. I don't really know if he went, but he was supposed to go. So, yeah, that's the story on that. Mm -mm -mm. I live in the country now, but everybody's telling me this is just as bad as the hood. I don't know. I don't. I stay in my house. I leave everybody alone. So I don't know. I have no idea. All I hear is coyotes and roosters crowing and horses. Beats the hell out of me. See, if you mind your own business. And not worry about nothing that's going on out there, the less trouble you have. Jesse's getting upset. He's got a lot of toys. He's got a lot of toys in his little thing play. Mm. Too much chewing. I need a drink. Here she comes, Miss America, and Mr. America. Yeah. Anyway, what else is gonna? Oh. I bought them a vintage 1965 camper, and they're going to fix it all up and live in it. And hopefully, everybody will be happy. Right, Dudabug? Aye. <laughs> She's just a cute little thing. She had Cheerios and bananas for her brunch. And I said, I bought a 1965 vintage camper type of thing. Really, there's nothing wrong with it. It's sturdy and everything. You know, it's old, so it needs fixed up a little bit. A lot of possibilities. Shit, I'd live in there. And then, so, we're going to fix that all up. Rewire it. 
so the, you know the wiring safe because we don't know if the wiring safe or not rewire it you know paint it up they uh mr america mark tranny he's been cleaning it up it wasn't really dirty or nothing but just sat I supposedly they use it for a storage in their yard and the weirdest thing is when my, when we found this thing the lady said she just wants it gone and the man said you know whatever the lady wants but it's like a weird situation because I thought they were getting a divorce and then the man, we had to go meet the man Sunday afternoon. And the man goes, goodbye, honey, sweetheart, on his phone. I love you. That's what he said to his wife. So I'm like really confused because she was making it sound like they're selling all their shit. She, they're getting the hell out of Dodge or she is getting the hell out of Dodge or getting away from him. So they have to get rid of this shit by Tuesday because, you know, that's what they were saying. Well, that's what she was saying. And he was like totally different. So... I don't really know what the story was, but it was a good deal. They wanted $1,600 for it. But then, because I'm so sad and everything, I bought it for $400. Yeah, $400. You know, and, and if these Burning Man people or people that like this 1950s, they live in the 50s type of thing, that's why they had it jacked up so much, because they thought that... Um, you know, somebody like that would want it. But the thing was only on the Facebook yard sales for like maybe a couple of, a couple of hours. And that's when we found it. So nobody really had a chance to get it. And the lady, she really wanted to get rid of it. So I'm trying to look and see if this thing's recording. All of a sudden I was worried it wasn't recording. So that's why it wasn't so cheap. She wanted it gone. But that's good. It's really cute. I think it's cute anyway. Let's see, what else is going on here? Mm. Really, nothing too much is going on. That's the most exciting thing. Where? I got a story to tell you. Has anybody ever dashed and dined? Your girl has. Need another drink. I don't know why I thought of the story, but I did. So, <clears throat> one time at an, another place, like um, another whole town altogether, Kansas, we'll say, somewhere in Kansas, there was a Asian restaurant. And um, my daughter, she's like 15. 16. We went in there and um, they didn't make you pay first. Went in there, sat down, and I said, You know, go help yourself and whatever. There were a lot of people in there. In fact, they had a bus full of people. Two buses full of people. It's like, this small place is over 100 people in there. So, anyway. We got our plates of food. I mean, people that were, the people from the bus, they're so rude. They're a bunch of Asian people, so don't think I'm being racist, because I'm not. I'm just describing the people. They're all Asian. The same thing that had the restaurant. Anyway, so they're grabbing food, and you know, like how that's a buffet, like one side, you can go on one side and the other side. Well, they were using tongs from the one side to get food on the other side. And just throwing shit everywhere. I didn't care if they were dropping different food and different things and stuff like that. You know, and 
This one lady, she dropped a bunch of fish in the beef broccoli. It's like, really? Ew. Ew. And I stand there, and one of them pushed me out of the way. I'm like, God damn, I'm waiting my turn. Anyway. So, we got our food. Went back, sat down. Tried to go for some more food, but now the buffet tables were ravaged. I mean, there wasn't a lot of food up there. And what food was up there was mixed. It looked like somebody's cleaning up after dinner and just like putting the rest of the food in different pans, you know, mix them together just to put them in the fridge. That's what it kind of looked like. And the waiter didn't come around or nothing to ask us if we want anything to drink. Now, it wasn't a serve yourself type of drink thing because you had to go into the waitress, waitress, waiter's station to go get your drink. And I'm not that brave. But the bus full of Asian people, they were doing it, so maybe, maybe they didn't care that day. I don't know. Anyhow, I see myself, I'm not paying for this shit. The food's not good. I don't like Asian food anyway, to be honest with you. I like Indian food and I don't like I don't like um Chinese food. Not Asian food. Indian food's kinda Asian. I don't like Vietnamese food. I don't like Filipino food. I just don't like that kind of stuff. Mexican and Indian is about as exotic as I get. Anyway. I told my daughter said, I'm not paying for this. So I said, when the crowd of people gets up, we'll just walk with them because yeah. they must have paid for it on the bus and we'll just say, hey, we're with them. It's, it's all paid for, you know. So that was my plan. Anyway. They weren't getting up and leaving. And I totally had enough of this place. So I told my daughter, said, you go out, open up the car, get it ready. New lot first. So she did. Nobody said Jack to her. So then, I'm like, how am I fucking going to get out of here? That's what I'm thinking. So I went up to the um, buffet. And I was looking at the desserts, like if I'm going to get something to eat. Damn, I'm dropping stuff. So I feel like I'm going to get some more something to eat or dessert or something. Um, um, I got food in my chest? No. So anyway, all of a sudden the cashier was very distracted. He had two of the waiters up there. Um, customers, a couple of customers wanting to come in. So I, oh, this is my break. So Circle. all of a sudden, doop, 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 right out the door I went and we left. Yeah. So. Back in Kansas. <laughs> I'm not going to go back there anytime soon. I'm in Reno. But that's my dash and dine story. I don't really do that. I was feeling froggy. Feeling froggy. And wanted to leap out of that place. So. That's my story. So have any of you ever dashed and dined? I'd like to try it again just for shits and giggles, but I'd probably get my old ass put in jail. Anyway, I'm almost done. And my next mukbang, I'm going to talk about my Halloween party I want to plan. So I will see you next mukbang if you choose to come back. Remember, share, like, subscribe. Everybody's welcome. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Just add value to my channel. And I will see you next time. Bye.